Hi guys, it's Miss Hazel, the Occupational Therapist. So in today's video, we're going to be learning how to hold a pencil and little tips and tricks on how to hold a pencil and also some pencil warm-up. So before we do handwriting or any um, tracing, any activities with a pencil, just some warm-ups we can do. So let's get right into it. The first thing is, how do we hold a pencil? So um, the correct method is called a tripod grasp and it looks like this. So we use three fingers, we tuck our two fingers in and we hold it with our three fingers. So pinch and then our middle finger goes at the back to support. Looks like this from the back and like this from, um, from the front. Um, to know that you're doing it correctly is making sure you can see a circle right there. When you have this circle, it allows you to push, pull and turn our pencil around and around and that helps with the accuracy of when we write. So if I don't have this circle here and I have straight fingers or different types of fingers, I'll have to be using my wrist. When we use our wrist to write, that means our wrist will get really, really sore and um, it will hurt us when we're writing for a long time. And when we get older and older, we write for longer um, amounts of time and we need to be able to um, use our little fingers um, or our little muscles in our fingers to be able to write. So the first problem we come across is getting used to holding our pencil um, correctly and getting used to picking it up from the table correctly. So what we can do um, is something called the pinch and pop method. So I pretend my hand is my table. I pinch it with my pinching fingers. On the edge of the pencil just here, I pop into my web space. This area is called your web space. And then we add our middle finger to support. So it's called the pinch and pop. Let's try that again. Pinch, pop. And then I add my middle finger and that will help me write. The second issue is adding too many fingers. So before I was an OT, I was writing like this. I was just adding too many fingers in. And what um, I like to do is add a pom-pom to the fingers that I don't need. So I have a pom-pom or you can even use a crumbled up tissue, anything. Um, putting it into our two fingers here, holding it. And that forces us to use three fingers. Pom. Yeah, pom-poms are nice and easy to use, so when we are writing. The next thing is students that um, don't have their pencil in their web space that we're talking about here. A uh, trick you can do is get an elastic band. So I'm going to get one here. An elastic band. I twist it. Just make one twist. Put your pencil inside that twist, as you can see. And then it will force our pencil to be in the web space. So if you use the method of the pom-pom, the web space, you will be able to use your pencil correctly and hold it correctly. Um, another difficulty that I find in classrooms are children pressing too hard. Um, an activity you can do with that is get some foil, some tin foil, put it under the work, um, their worksheet, and making sure that they don't press hard enough to rip the foil. So if they rip the foil, that means they're pressing too hard. So this is like a challenge for your kids to not press so hard because when you press really, really hard, that means you're squeezing all your muscles and your fatigue and um, get tired really quickly and not want to write for long periods of time. The next thing is not pressing hard enough. When you don't press hard enough, that means you don't have the strong muscles in your fingers to press. So children really press lightly when they're writing and it's not legible and you can't really see what they're doing. What you can do is add a pencil topper. In the past, what I've done is I've gotten um, batteries, AA, AAA doesn't really matter. Pop one or two, you can just trial both and sticky tape it around and this will add weight to your child's pencil and this will make them press harder at the same time strengthen their hand while they're writing. So they're just some tips and tricks for you and your kids um, to be able to have better pencil grasp and in return have better handwriting. The next thing we're going to be talking about is finger warm up. So before we do our handwriting, let's warm up our fingers um, so we're ready to go. So the first thing is something called thumb oppositions. We've done this a lot in the classroom and your kids will know exactly what to do. So what we do, you can do one hand or two hands, whatever's easiest um, for the beginning. Um, go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. You can do this slowly initially and get them to go faster and faster and add their second hand in. So one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And this is a really good finger warm up 
for handwriting. The next thing is called pencil twirls and you can turn this in a, into a competition. I know my students really love this one. So you get a pencil and teach them how to windmill it or pencil twirl it. Twirl it around, twirl it around. And you can turn this into a competition by whoever drops their pencil first loses and the other person wins. You can make this harder by getting the children to close their eyes, spin in a circle, go on one foot, just whatever. And um, whoever drops their pencil first loses. There is some um, finger worms to go down and back up, down and back up and also spinning it in a circle, just like this. It um, warms up our fingers. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's helpful. I've also attached um, some handwriting worksheets uh, to this so your kids can practice their pencil control. So I'll see you guys next week and thank you so much.